Hey, Tim Curley here with your Friday FAQ. Well, what's going on with mortgage rates? Well, a lot, uh, unfortunately, and most of it has not been positive. But I just wanted to address a couple things you might be seeing in the media right now and give you a little context into what's going on, why this is happening. Uh, so a couple things. First of all, there's a lot of talk right now about the Fed raising interest rates. I think I did a video on this a few weeks ago, but when we talk about the Fed raising rates, we're not talking about mortgage rates. They are talking about the Fed funds rate, which is a short term interest rate. And that can affect mortgage rates as it affects the you know entire financial markets, but it's a, not a direct correlation to mortgage rates. For instance, what's a lot of what's happened with mortgage rates right now has to do with inflation and inflation fears and when the Fed raises the Fed funds rate, what they're trying to do is they're trying to fight inflation. And so if they are successful in that, then that might help us some with mortgage rates. So that could turn out to help, you know, mortgage rates go down a little bit. I don't know. We'll just have to see. But again, just keep in mind their actions can affect the broader financial markets, but not necessarily direct cor correlation with mortgage rates. The second thing I would say is you or see, you'll see a lot of media articles talking about the average 30 year rate. For instance, I was just looking at an article um, that was published, I think, yesterday. And the headline is mortgage rates rise above 4% for the first time since 2019. Well, you have to understand that is based on information. See, Freddie Mac publishes um, an average 30 year rate for the whole country once a week, only once a week. So by the time that gets, you know, to whoever this writer is and is actually uh, in a publication, it's old news. So, you know, we crossed the 4% line some time ago. So again, that's old news and you may know this, but the, you know, mortgage rates move in real time. The financial markets have been incredibly volatile um, over the past few months and in a trend that has not been positive for us. So just know that that's the second thing. It's and I'm telling you this because it's helpful for your buyers to have proper expectations. You know, um, if they come in and, and are thinking they're going to get a three and a half rate on a 30 year fixed, unfortunately, that's not going to happen right now. And, you know, I often tell people, I mean, unfortunately, we can't get um, last summer's rate. We can only get today's rate or we can get tomorrow's rate or at any point, any point in the future, but we can't get last summer's rate or last fall's rate or yesterday's rate. We can only get today's rate and going forward. So there's really not a lot of reason to waste any energy on that because there's nothing we can do about it. So just be aware of that. Now, I wanted to show you, uh, share my screen really quickly here. So this is a chart that shows you some bond prices. This is mortgage-backed securities. So keep in mind, bond prices move inversely with bond yields, which is mortgage rates are tied to. Okay, so as bond prices go up, yields go down. As prices go down, yields go up. So you can see what's happened here. This is back to, I think it's December the 27th. Here's the trend that we're on. Look, there's January 24th. Took a big hit on this day, February the 10th. You know, we rebounded a little bit here to the end of February. And look at March, where we've gone to here. And that's kind of where we are. So, um, you know, and lots of times what's happening is if the stock market is surging, then usually bond prices will go down to try to attract uh, that money from the stock market over into bonds, which means yields go up, which means our mortgage rates will follow that. So again, you can see we've had this tr unfortunate trend for a number of weeks in a row. And we haven't really had any relief and there's not really much in sight right now. Um, I'm just hoping, as I know you all are, that we can find a bottom somewhere and at least level out a little bit. So we'll see what happens. I hope this is helpful to you. If you have specific questions, uh, feel free to give me a call. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.